Hi, this is John. This will be the last video shot in this shop, so appropriately, it's about shops, planning, and how to best use your space. This shop was the third one that I designed, and it was set up primarily as a woodworking shop, which of course is also very appropriate for high power rocketry construction. We have a table saw that dominates the center of the room that can also act as a work table. We have a big work table in the very center, which is the most important tool, and then other saws and tools around the perimeter. I also have a dedicated paint booth with outside access to avoid dust, storage for sheet goods, and another room for dedicated storage. If you want to see more details, check out the PDF on my webpage. Nothing beats a good workspace, and this 5 foot by 6 foot table is where I spend most of my time. Tool storage conveniently nearby, composite material storage underneath, plenty of room to work. Most frequently used tools should be stored conveniently near your workbench. Screwdrivers first, wrenches, pliers and cutters, sockets, hammers, and then other tools lower down. My second tool chest is also organized with the most important things on top. Measuring and marking, scissors and knives, files, cutters, other miscellaneous cutting tools, saws, and other tools down below. One of my most frequently used tools is a CNC router by ShopBot. This has a dedicated workstation for it with all its accessories and the computer to control it. Again, I like to keep everything convenient to where it's going to be used. Tools used just for the shop bot, cutters and collets, screws for hold down, tape again for hold down, and other accessories below. Another tool that gets constant use is the drill press. So much so that I actually have a large one and a small one. Again, things most frequently used are easily accessed right next by drills, measuring, marking, chamfering, hole saws, taps and dies, extra drills, larger sizes, and other accessories below. Sometimes the smaller version of a tool is actually more useful. While I use the big drill press more frequently than the small one, I actually use the small bandsaw more frequently than the large one. It has a finer blade and it's easier to do small quick jobs. A small table saw is also useful because I generally fit it with a diamond blade for cutting composite plate. And of course a workbench where you can sit down is also valuable for fine work or when you just get tired of standing. And of course storage is everywhere with the tools ready to hand that I'll most likely use when seated and doing fine work. Speaking of getting tired of standing, Concrete floor is hard on your joints and can cause back pain in some people. One thing of course you can do is put mats in front of the areas you stand the most. Here is an example from Uline of an anti-fatigue mat. But you've noticed in my shop all the floors are a uniform color. I'm actually using a material made out of recycled tires to provide essentially a hard but yielding surface to walk on. This is strong enough to support tools but does have some give to prevent joint issues with bare concrete. You've also noticed that all my work tables and tool benches have cabinets underneath. Of course there's the tool chests but all around them are wooden cabinets. To do this reasonably inexpensively I use cheap kitchen cabinets from Lowe's. Being made out of wood and particle board they can easily be modified. Here I've cut down the base and added a new toe kick and blocks to support levelers. Then the cabinets are arranged next to each other and a top is added. The top is made of two layers of three quarter inch plywood edged in hardwood and then with a top of masonite. The masonite is tacked down with brads and can be removed when it gets messed up either through epoxy drips or other wear and tear. 
And I'll end with a couple of overall pictures, just so you can get a feel of how the shop looks. I spent many happy hours in the shop and I'll certainly miss it. I hope you get some good ideas for your own shop.